<laughs> so Sam, it's been a long time coming and I see technology has decided to to fight us in the process. But uh, we win. Technology is to serve us. We are not to serve technology. We have overcome. We've overcome. <laughs> yeah. All right. So thank you so much for making time, being one of the first people to, actually the first person to to be on this interview. And I know we've really done so many different conversations, even on the MasterCard Foundation platform, very yeah. rich conversation that we had there. So you're always a great spot to start everything. So yeah, I, I'm grateful for the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So um, this is mainly just to have conversations with entrepreneurs, to check out what it is that they are doing, to be able to promote mm -hmm. the work that they are doing and just have interactions. Um, and yeah. in the process, just promote the culture of support that Dream Tribe community aims to do how mm -hmm. we've always been doing just one person has this we support them like that we support each other so just to continue to foster that so that all entrepreneurs know they have people they have a tribe mm -hmm. yep 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 yeah so um, hence really great this... work really great work you're doing uh with trim tribe uh yeah keep on doing this keep on amplifying it keep on uh being the awesome person that you are Thank you so much. And don't you miss the in-person session? It's been it's been it's been a while actually. Come to think of it, uh, is it is it is it more than a year since? Yes, we last it really is. Yeah, I we, think... we need to get back. We need to get back. Yeah, you never told me how hard it is to juggle between entrepreneurship and doing business but i see you doing so well <laughs> i see you thriving on all ends <laughs> i don't think i i don't i don't think i'm doing too well lately uh, <laughs> i i think my my entrepreneurial endeavors have suffered a hit uh, they really do extent, uh, because of what i have to do at the office and all that <laughs> but I'm hoping I can be able to regain the balance and do better. Yeah. Uh, yes. But don't you think, don't you feel peaceful in your mind? Like, do you feel like less stress when you're doing, when you're doing the eight to five, like compared to the experience of being full-time entrepreneur? Um... You you know for me for me it's kind of it's kind of in between because mm -hmm. even what I do at the office uh, really has an entrepreneurial angle to it. So uh... so really, um, you 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 are still just out there trying to get people to see what you're doing, uh, yeah. to get them to understand where you're going and uh, mm -hmm. what you're trying to offer them. So it's 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 uh here and there uh, reason being mm -hmm. you see part of part, part of my pay actually a huge part of my pay is performance best which is what really the entrepreneur also has to do on a day-to-day -day basis you know actually, when you're an entrepreneur yeah. mm -hmm. uh you know that if i don't show up uh, there's not going to be anything at the end of the day there's not going to mm -hmm. be anything at the end of the week actually there's we are not going to be anything at the end of the month yeah yes. yeah yeah i tell you i think i i was like will i ever go back mm -hmm. to full-time entrepreneurship after relaxing mm -hmm. like this however i can tell you i can tell you once you have that entrepreneurial streak um yeah. you 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 stay but after some time you you feel that each <laughs> that's to, true to, to, to go and do something and that's that, yeah. that, that's part of the reason why even though you're working somewhere in a in an official setting mm -hmm. you see you still have these other two things that you're doing on the side exactly yeah, yeah. actually yeah, it's, it's because what... that spirit it's because that spirit can't die it can't <laughs> that's the sad part you know it's <laughs> like um what i was even writing in the newsletter it's like when what was his name? Jonah, mm -hmm. who was being sent to Nineveh to do something. Yes. 
and he was refusing. <laughs> it's like Su I'm surprisingly, not... yeah. surprisingly, I'm actually reading the book of Jonah currently. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> so you are the one who's being talked to right now. This, the message this is morning, for you. This, this morning I was reading <laughs> chapter two of Jonah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so it's it's just those things you're like, that. it's a calling. So it haunts you, literally. It haunts yeah. you daily. It doesn't matter yeah. how satisfied you are, like, you have the nudge. So I don't know whether there are people who successfully manage to suppress that, but I think some of us really, it's not something you're able to do. You can't suppress that. Yeah, you know, uh, a typical entrepreneur thinks uh, sal salary is the bribe they pay you to forget your dreams. That's so true. <laughs> That's so true. Like, totally, I accept. And, you know, you <laughs> happily forget about them. And you're like, get behind me, Sata, new dreams. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, but that, the dream, that's... But the dream will always be there. Uh, I think always... what it helps to uh to take up jobs that allow you flexibility. Yes, it's very it's very important. You 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 can't be uh, an an eight to five person in the office all the time. I mm -hmm. I think I would actually struggle to do that myself. It would be a <laughs> real struggle. Yeah. You see, uh, for me, once I've done my one or two meetings in the morning i yeah. i have to figure out the rest of my day by myself so as much as um i mean the setting of a job uh the thing is i am i, I I'm, I'm so much in control of my time and what i do mm. with it yeah that's amazing me what helps mm. me is i'm doing exactly what i was doing it's in the same mm. mission yeah. You know, I'm, I'm working with young people. I'm working with entrepreneurs. So it's mm -hmm. like I'm doing exactly what I was doing only in a larger scale. Yes. So I feel like I'm right in my mission, you know. Wow, wow, Can't wow, God wow. be greater? <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. All right. I, env so I envy you. <laughs> you do, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. When, no. when, when, when I grow up, when I grow up, but you are such a pro in financial issues. It actually looks like it's your first love, you know. Yeah, and yeah, that's, talent that, management. That, that, that's that's my first love. In an ideal world, I would just be talking to people about finance and helping people yeah. uh, <laughs> put things in place. Uh, mm -hmm. Just, just um. Anyway. The dream is still alive. <laughs> and one day it's going to happen. And very soon, very soon. It's not going to yeah. take long. It's going to happen, yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's amazing. Because of, like, uh, entering your sessions and just especially knowing how Kenyans, how finances are such a big thing in Africa. Yeah. How many people wait until when they're retiring, then they panic. You know, mm -hmm. just seeing that and yeah. the way you always say your children are not your retirement plan, you know, uh -huh. but uh -huh. I don't think many people prepare for that. But eventually they actually become your retirement plan, you know, so yes, yes. I really love what you're doing in terms nobody, of nobody, nobody, nobody grows old thinking that their children will be their retirement plan. But uh, you just realize you got caught up with time uh, doing uh, very many things. Yeah. That's why I keep telling people that um, if you can't start on your retirement when you're still single, don't think that when you get married and all these other responsibilities are on your shoulder, it's going to get easier. It won't. It won't. So these yeah. disciplines, these disciplines, you start in your youth. Mm. You grow up with them. When a partner comes on board and they find you already on track, it's very difficult to get you off track. <laughs> But if they find you disorganized, if they I mean, find you disorganized, yeah, 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 you'll always you'll always find something else to do with the money now. Mm. Uh, and unfortunately, we spend it on consumables. Mm. You know, if you if you're spending money, but you're spending money in something that uh, is an asset that is going to generate for you in future, then you're good. 
but uh, most of us what we are doing is we are spending this money on uh things which in and of themselves are good but mm -hmm. they are yeah, not that's really useful. At, they are, they are not, the, the sustainability of the same is not there because why 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 enjoy a few years of life and suffer for long you rather <laughs> rather suffer for a little while and yeah. enjoy the rest yeah yeah mm. i love that i'll really definitely probably later engage you in a financial session with with everyone and also just on an interview like this sure. but i think you've mentioned something like discipline learning mm -hmm. discipline and how to behave even when you're single and i know that mm -hmm. you're having a program for after campus yeah and that's exactly what i was really interested in in terms of um why did you think of the idea of after campus um sessions mm -hmm. for young children uh for me for me it's about mentorship Mm. It's 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 about holding the hands of uh, young people uh, mm -hmm. because I this is my this is my story. I keep saying if I had someone to hold my hand at that age, I think I would have turned out much much better uh, than how I uh, how how my life has turned out to be. I think there are, there are lessons I missed. There are things I should have known at a particular age, at a particular level, that would really have gone a long way in helping me make better decisions, make better use of my time. So I, my thinking is, can I do something for people in this generation so that they don't have to suffer the same kind of uh, things I have suffered, the, the same kind of uh, challenges and struggles I have had. I, I keep telling people that growing up, all we knew and all we were told is go to school, study, get good grades, uh, and you're set for life. You will get mm -hmm. a job and uh, A, B, C, D will happen. So life will yeah. just flow. Mm -hmm. But you know, uh, that story and the reality uh, ground are very different things. That's so, so true. <laughs> my, my, for me, for me, this program is about bridging the difference uh, between that story and the reality on the ground. Mm -hmm. I want somebody to be better prepared than I was uh, when they go to when, when they get to the ground. That's that's the whole story for me. Mm. They say they took a ground any different. Like, what was the first shocker for you? Like the way they say the world out there. What what was like? the first shocker for you after, and I'm thinking you're talking about after high school or after campus? This, this is after campus for me. After I'm, campus. I'm looking at after campus, but after wow. high school can also do because there are people who, who also don't get to go to campus. High school mm -hmm. is all they get to see and uh, it's over. So uh, for me, the big shocker is I had to come out and uh, and look for a job. I thought jobs would be looking for me. <laughs> Why you? <laughs> you thought they'd be looking. You you probably are those top player students. Like, who like, are, like, 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 like doing like, so well. I'm a I'm a graduate. I have a yeah. I have a good degree. So. Mm -hmm. I didn't I, I don't remember myself struggling to get attachments. Uh in fact I was telling people that you know um <laughs> when I was looking for my attachments I never I never even sent letters to like I don't know 20 people so that one of them responds. I would actually say I want to go to I want to go to Safari Park Hotel and Casino for my attachment and that would happen. And that was enough, uh, yeah. Yes, I, I want to go to the, the, the second, the second, uh, I had wanted a city experience and uh, a bush experience. So my next, my second attachment was in Masai Mara. And uh, all I needed to do was say, I want to go to Masai Mara. And I talk to one person, I send my whatever, and I'm given the opportunity. So I was like, it was so it was so straightforward so i what is this that uh, i'm now coming out and it's it's a real struggle it really is yeah 
<laughs> to get to get even an internship you know even uh, a, a, a management trainee position and anything like that so yeah. that was that was a real shocker mm, yeah. yeah it hit me it hit me really hard i know i think it's for me it might have also been that though mm -hmm. i i for some reason i didn't take so long it's just that i quit really quickly and yeah. after that, it, it was really a struggle to get another one. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I think if I knew, if, if if I was more savvy about taking opportunities seriously or even knowing what opportunities lie there, I would probably have made a different choice yeah. than quitting after four months of my first job, you know? So <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I would have made a different choice because it doesn't yeah. even look good on my CV. But mm -hmm. I think um, what helped me is that someone told me even about entrepreneurship, you know? Yeah. And I think many people do not feel they have that option. So they really struggle mm -hmm. for years and years. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking an after-campus program like yours can yeah. empower people to know what options are available for young people, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Very true. Very true. Uh, yeah. The idea, yeah. the idea is to tell people there are many, there are many paths to the top. Mm -hmm. You don't have to look at uh, one path and think if this doesn't work, then I'm done and dusted. Mm -hmm. L look at uh, look at the uh, various opportunities available. Look at the various paths that are available to you. Some people have a path through their talent. Some people have a path through their skills. Some people have a path uh, through their passions. Some people even have a path through their hobbies. It's just that they they don't look at them long and hard enough uh, yeah. to see to see to see the possibilities. And it's really mm, the after campus program is about uh, just letting you know that. You know, you have uh, you have options, and there is what is readily available uh, within your reach. Try to make as much use of that as possible. Try to exploit those opportunities as much as possible, because you never know what will come of it. Yeah. Because so, I can tell you for free, if mm -hmm. I if I was, uh, you, we, we used to hear there are scholarships for people to go out and all that. But it's it's one thing to hear there are scholarships and it's a different thing for somebody to sit you down and tell you, mm. uh, here, here are some links uh, yeah. for scholarships you can apply, yeah. number one. Number two, uh, this is how you even write a motivation letter. This is uh, this is how you go about applying for this scholarship so that you're able to get it. These are things we never had in our time. Yeah, These we are did. things we never yeah. got to hear. It's uh, it felt like, like they those, were those, those, those who did, those who yeah. did probably they, 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 they came probably from uh, backgrounds where this was normal and natural for many of us uh we didn't get to hear about these things yeah. we got to hear about them later because i can guarantee you uh someone like me i think i would have uh, gone ahead to uh, do my masters and probably even my doctorate mm. before i started thinking about many other things uh probably i would have gone into investing and all that at a, I mean, at a very yeah. early age because mm -hmm. i remember back in college I, I i actually participated in the safaricom ipo i remember buying shares wow. uh, when i was a student and it was uh, it was really it was really nice mm -hmm. many years later when i decided to sell i sold those shares at a very good return so i have yeah. never regretted yeah you like you so I'm just so I'm just, so I'm just asking yeah. myself what yeah. if what if I had somebody to tell me you know this is a path you can grow on whatever little you get you put it in there and uh, you continue to build and build and build probably now I'd be working for fun exactly <laughs> yes 
now we would be happily being entrepreneurs, you know, yes. Yes. <laughs> only. Mm. Yeah, that's true. And I think it's a, it's definitely something that's needed. Information is power. And mm. I know, um, I can testify that I also found my path for sure, for sure, when maybe I was 30. And that's after I went through Young African Leaders Initiative. And mm. I went through that and it really changed my life. So yeah. I think such programs, there's so much room for it because no one tells you these things. You just focus mm. on your books and then you figure out life on your own. So if someone mm -hmm. can summarize that for you and you learn from each other, I think it's definitely going to be a good spot. So awesome. Um, and I'm actually you? I'm actually thinking yeah. uh I should invite you for one of the sessions to actually talk about Yali. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I should invite you to talk about Yali and uh, just showing the people how they can take advantage of uh, the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Because okay. so, some people some people actually don't know anything. Uh, they, they don't know anything about what's happening. You know, um, th there's, there's, everything, there's everything on the internet and uh, you can spend a lot of time on the internet doing a lot of nothing. <laughs> yet you can what? also yet yeah. yet you can also spend a lot of uh, time on the internet doing uh, things that are very productive and things that uh, will add value to your life and your future so we will see we'll see i'll have to slot you somewhere to just talk uh to just come and uh, give people a feel of uh, yali and what Yali does, uh, what 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 opportunities they can take advantage of, yeah, it, it, all right, it really go I think along that way. would be good. I'm happy to do that, um, because yeah. definitely it's life changing, and you know, you just want to know all, all if not, you know, most of all that is there, so that you mm -hmm. make wise decisions, so that you yeah. have, you know, you can set yourself up for success. Mm. all right i think uh, how often will you be doing this or will this be a one-off maybe you can tell us a lot a little bit more about this if uh, maybe there's still opportunity for people to register uh what would I'm, that... I'm actually gonna I'm, I'm actually gonna run uh this this particular this particular cohort i'm gonna run for like 30 days mm -hmm. Uh, just just uh, one and a half to two hours uh, a day or something like that. So it's going to be starting on the 6th, which is this Thursday. Yeah. And uh, it will run up to around the same date in the following month. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly, mostly Monday to Friday, but I'm looking at uh, probably one or two sessions where we do a live, uh, 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 an in-person session probably on uh, a Saturday or a day we can agree. One or two of those sessions will have to be in, in person. person. Okay. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run that. And then the uh, thing is, I think I want to be running this once a year. So it's going to be always around this time. Um, I, I do, uh, I thought about June because I know many people clear with their campuses in April, thereabouts. So they are waiting to graduate, some of them in July, some of them in December. So this time in between is a good time to think and reflect around these things and yeah. decide uh which is the best way forward so registration is still open people okay. need to take advantage of the opportunity uh -huh. because again uh we want you to come on board and commit time we don't want to we, we, we'd rather have a few people uh, that are committed to the course than have yeah. a crowd uh, of people who will not do anything because we are really interested in uh, creating impact. We are interested in equipping people. We are interested in making sure that people don't just come for the information. We yeah. want people who are ready and willing to take action. Mm, I know, yes. Because because uh, bigger stuff is coming in future. Bigger stuff is coming, I can guarantee you. Uh, so... We, we 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 want to, we are starting small but mm -hmm. we want to start with people who mean business 
Yeah. Yeah, that's we, why we, we, that's we, why, that's yeah. why that's why this time around we are not saying we'll just share we'll share a link uh mm -hmm. to the public. The link is going to be for the people who have registered, people who uh -huh. have uh, made a commitment because we are not we don't want to cheapen this. You know, uh -huh. people 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 tend to think that because I am not charging you uh, -huh. uh it's it, it doesn't have value but you see i'm asking you to commit your time mm. and i'm asking you to commit your time because i've asked some very serious people to come and speak to come and share knowledge wisdom experience uh -huh. so i want you to benefit from that and i want you to be present so that you're able to benefit all right i'm sure yeah. it will be rich and really rich because I the Very. last time you had um what's his name the musician you had someone and yeah. he was quite motivational yes yes the FDJ yeah. Soxy was quite yeah. motivational and inspiring and mm. then for some reason my Zoom dropped off suddenly <laughs> but <laughs> but it was it went well so thank you Sam for making time. Mm. I think mm. um, I like this and I, I like that you're doing it and I yeah. uh, hope anyone who is watching, who has a young person who has just finished campus or has just finished Form 4 can take up this opportunity. And so yeah. can people register even after in case they see this later or it's just before the, the deadline? Uh, the best would be to register before, but uh, mm -hmm. so, uh, someone can uh, so, someone can still uh, just try to register. Someone can try to register later if they see, mm -hmm. and if I find a, if I find a good number of people who have uh, expressed interest, mm -hmm. I can consider doing another session before the year is out. So, uh, let's let's just share these and see where it goes. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. And in case you, whenever, whoever will be watching, this yeah. is, we do not even have a name yet. We are just <laughs> talking for now. <laughs> but we shall discover what the name is. And yeah. then we have a community for entrepreneurs where we are promoting the culture of entrepreneurship support. And we've mm. worked together in so many projects um, together. We are, we are quite a number. And some can testify we've really come through for a few people. We've done so many things, collaborated, shared resources, sure. and sure, sure. we're just growing a culture of entrepreneurship support. So if you are interested, feel free to reach us out on any of the mediums. It's Dream Tribe Network Africa. And I'll also share the link for registration underneath on the comments so that you can also register and I'll share also the pages. So thank you for watching in case anyone will be watching, but if it will be ourselves watching, we thank, we thank us that we came. So Sam, that you have to say before we go. Uh, what I would like to say is the young people of this generation you have a rare opportunity to take advantage of the people and the spaces and the programs that are geared towards helping you grow and uh, transition into adulthood in 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 a better way uh the i was just telling some young person today that uh, the best way to pay me and to thank me, to appreciate me, is when I see them succeed because they have followed and uh, they have done what we've shared and it has brought them success. So I would say the same. Uh, we want you to succeed. We want you to do well, uh, whatever it is you're pursuing. And therefore, take the opportunity, uh, be in these spaces, be in these programs, be in these places where great things are happening, where there is great exchange of information, uh, be in uh, what I would call melting pots, you know, where people are coming in with ideas from many different uh, dimensions. Take advantage of uh, those opportunities, learn as much as you can when you're young, 
so that uh, as you age, you're aging like fine wine because there's a lot that you know and you, ju you just know what to apply when and you'll be set for life. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you and thank you for making time. And we definitely have to be set for life. Yeah. Sure, we are informed. sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you as well for having me. Yeah. Uh, look forward to more conversations. Definitely. On money, finances, and all that. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. Bye.